Hi, my name is Ted Piachuk and I'm director of the Birchfield Penny Arts Center. What's special about the Birchfield Penny, it's a museum dedicated to the arts of Western New York and, and so it has a unique mission. It complements the Albright Knox. Uh, what makes it special is also this new building, this phenomenal space that we're in now and all the spaces in the building that create a real sense of excitement going through it and discovering artworks, uh, um, both historical and contemporary. It's been an exciting, exciting uh, time. We've had 60,000 visitors from 900 last summer to 5,100. We've been identified in January by the New York Times as one of the 44 destinations in the world to go to in 2009. Quite an honor. I think what's also very exciting is how it's going to change this neighborhood. We have the opportunity to create um, a, a, a district, a museum district. It's not only going to be wonderful for people, ourselves, or people in the, in, the, in the region, but also people outside the region that'll come and visit. In the next year, we have a lot of fairly significant exhibitions going on, really exciting because they involve not only traditional arts and, and an incredible Birchfield exhibit curated by internationally known uh, contemporary artist Robert Gober, at the same time, we're doing some contemporary projects, an installation and performance by John Cage, who spent time in Buffalo. And so this space, again, will be transformed into a, a kind of very contemporary, active space with large video projections. And so we're interested in having both traditional arts and contemporary arts, uh, different kinds of media, everything from craft art to watercolor to video. Buffalo has reached its tipping point. And that tipping point has to do with a lot of pieces, a lot of these cogs coming into motion and kind of grinding properly. The medical corridor, the um, waterfront development, and the cultural um, sector. We've got this thing that's growing. It's growing to a point where I think the whole nation will notice, and especially with the National Trust meeting here um, in 2011. I think people are starting to see this momentum. And, um, and it's all going to be good for Buffalo in this region.